Welcome to the DES2 Unit 12 Geometric and Dimensioning Tolerancing Basics Lecture Part 2 by Todd Frazee. In the last lecture we covered geometric controls of form, orientation, and now we're going to cover profile which is a comparison of an actual profile of a feature to its theoretical perfect profile and location, which is a comparison of the actual position of a feature to theoretical perfect position. And run out, the comparison combining form and orientation controls on a rotating circular feature as compared to a perfect circular feature. Profile of a line and profile of a surface are the two profile controls. Profile of a line defines a tolerant zone by controlling the profile of a single path across the surface. In the example on the right, the path across the surface must fall within a 0 0.030 tolerance zone to be compliant. Typically, profile tolerances require at least one datum for reference. Profile of a surface defines a tolerance zone by controlling the profile across the entire surface. So that same 0 0.03 zone extends across the entire face of the surface. position, concentricity, and symmetry are the three position controls. Concentricity and symmetry were eliminated in the last revision of ASME Y14.5 standard. However, that standard was revised in 2019, and so we're still covering those two symbols because you're going to see drawings with them on it for many years to come. But if you're meeting the current standard of the revision, they are not used. Position controls. Position defines the tolerance zone by controlling the position of a feature. In the example on the right, we have two positions. One is the theoretical or true position for a theoretical perfect part. The red circle represents the actual position. Provided the, each, the part falls within the tolerance zone of the true center, the part is compliant. So in the example on the right, the center of the hole has to fall within a circle of 0 0.03 to be within tolerance. Concentricity control. Concentricity defines the zone by controlling the position of a common axis in two or more cylindrical features. The axis must fall within the tolerance zone which is a smaller cylinder. This, this symbol, which is two circles that are concentric to each other, is actually obsolete in the latest version of the standard. A combination of position and runout that replaces the need for this particular symbol. Geometric symmetry control. Symmetry defines a tolerance zone by controlling the position of features along a theoretical mirror line. All features must fall within the zone of 0 0.03 apart in the example on the right in reference to datum A. This control has also become obsolete um, in the current version of the standard. 
symmetrical controls were very difficult to uh, maintain. Runout controls are circular runout and total runout. Circular runout defines a tolerance zone by controlling a circular circularity of a feature in one location while the object is rotating. As shown on the right, there's a, a circumference that's, that is measured as the part's rotating. And the tolerance zone, um, the part must fall within the tolerance zone defined by this, the blue circles. Total run defines the tolerance zone by controlling the circularity of the feature along the entire length while the object is rotating. So it also controls cylindricity and position of the center of the hole of the feature. That's it for this lecture and we'll catch you on the next one.